Camera's on. Welcome back. Like, <laughs> 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 So you know what I play? Guys, you guys are back. This is seven guys. This is a great time here on the uh, on the on the secondary stream. So, but not secondary action. We got some good action coming yeah. for you. I know you saw it on the uh, on the docket. So, up next, there we go. Let's get it. We got Razo. We got Ned, and okay. then after that we'll have uh, Dwayne and uh, Vin. So, should be the last two matches that we have in, in our block. But round uh, or round of what's that? Round one, I guess, of top one twenty eight. Round it down, man. Round it down. Is this winner still? I don't. I think I saw. It. Oh, maybe this. I don't know. I haven't seen these guys play yet, but I, th I think Ben's in losers. Like I think I saw Ben. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's ben winners. Yeah. Wait, Ben is in losers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the same Sora, right? Right. So this, the the next match spot might be. Okay, gotcha. Okay, good. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. anyway, anyway. Anyway. So let's get it. Ned, Razo. Let's see what they're bringing to the table, man. Razo's definitely been putting on quite a bit. Uh, you know, kind of. I feel like he's like the under discovered, or I guess right. underrepresented Peach. Like he's nice for sure. But when you think about Peach, you always think like, oh, you know, same Sora or whatever, or Mute Ace, whatever. Like you can't forget Razo. No, definitely not. Definitely a little little underrepresented, I yeah. totally agree. But Ned switching the Ivy Sword, see if you can find. Okay, good wait out, getting the grab. Big damage. Hold on. Oh, he got the jump. Oh, wait. he might have saved him. It was close. I mean, Charizard kind of has magnet, a little bit of magnet hands, but I don't know, man. Yeah, that like, might have been a save. I mean, he barely got hands to begin with, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> it's literally a, a dinosaur. Yeah, I feel bad for him because, like, <laughs> Like his head, like he just sticks straight over the ledge. It's so funny to me. Like he's like just tearing oh, yeah. up. Like yo, what's his, up? His ledge, yeah. His yeah. ledge grab animation is so funny. Ooh. Reminds me, you know the Virum picture he always posted of Charizard looking around <laughs> the corner. <laughs> it's like that, but the ledge. But anyway, wait a minute. All right, Ned, to get the forward air. Ned gonna get back to stage for free. These turnips are really good, but look at it. Ned snagging it with a nair and defending himself. Very yeah. good stuff. He's taking full advantage of this first stock still being there. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Such a good counter. It is. Like, it's funny because you kind of. The camera was. <laughs> the camera was <laughs> lagging behind. Camera guy's like, wait, who was that? <laughs> he just swapped so quickly. All right. So the Squirtle Man, yeah, I feel like the Squirtle is probably going to be a, bit, uh, a little bit of an issue for the uh, for Razo, especially at the beginning. It's a good ground movement. It's yeah. Just, you know, get the combo started here. When's that going to switch into Ivysaur, though? It's a big question. I think he wants to win neutral at least one more time. Keep the speed for a little bit. Maybe charge up a little neutral B. I just man, look how look how quickly Squirtle like his dash, his initial dash is just so good. It's nasty. Imagine saying Squirtle is slow. Anyway, <laughs> down throw. For something, there's no air dodge here, so it's gonna be scary. Charizard trying to bring in the damage. Four throw. Not enough yet. Close though. Hold up. All right, pushing him off the stage yet again. Razo having a hard time just figuring out. Oh, the roll on not nah, the play. Yeah. I'm most likely was probably trying to th avoid the up tilt again. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, Ned, full on uh, it's a full on patience. Like, you know what, uh, as soon as you pick an option, I'm punishing you. I see it on Twitter a lot. People go, Charizard's the best Pokemon of the three. Which is pretty crazy to say, but honestly, I understand why people say that. You, you need him. He's the anchor, man. Closes games out. If you're losing, you go to him. Like, he just has, he has all the clutch moments, basically, or, or most of them. I, I definitely think that, like, oh, okay. Duke. I feel like because Charizard, you know, he was the only person to get into uh, four. Yeah. Like, it made sense. I, I couldn't imagine Duke being, like, just a, sort of, a solo Squirtle main if he had, like, the same power, like, as now. Right. Squirtle can do it, but sometimes he can't. Like, sometimes yeah. it's just like, wow, I really cannot find this uh, this kill option. So, here I am, like, trying to wait until, like, 5,000 to get this kill. <laughs> right. Whilst also being super light. So, reminds me of Sheik. Anyway. Here we go. Why do I play that character? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you getting your feelings right now about, about your character rotation. <laughs> anyway, Razo marching back into a comeback. Nice try there on the Peach Bomber. I like that, but now he's on the ledge against Ivysaur. Ned was, he's been so good at the ledge, but Razo just sneaking by him with that roll. Oh, no tank again. Oh, that's Oh, uh, he's gone. Wait. Ah, OK, I thought he was going to try oh, to go oh, for, uh, inside B the edge. He seemed like he was high up enough to you know hit the uh, edge, the side with side B, but now I just kind of let it go. Yeah, the, the difference there is I think that Razo really cleaned up the turn of play and the, the edge play from the beginning. I, I do think he saved him on the first stock. It was close, though, so I don't, I don't blame him. Like, I guess I'll just take the damage or whatever, but yeah, yeah. either way. Either way, Razo taking down game one. Really good stuff. Uh, considering he was playing, I feel like he was playing from behind most of the time. There you go. Yep. Yep. You know what? There's that. I like to extend you an offer. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, here we go. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get to the next game. Razo, Ned, Pokemon Trainer Peach, still keeping it going. Razo, yeah, definitely with the comfort from high win there. Here. Like, Ned was pretty much in control for most of the game. But Razo, man, you know, when you, when you get him, give him an in, he's going he's gonna to stay in for a bit. Mm -hmm. 
Razzle's like the, the Z drop master too. Like he does that all the time. Like I love the way he was doing it at the ledge, but he also did it at the beginning of the match there too. It's just like a, one of the unique things about his peach. Mm. Oh no. Okay. Oh, couldn't get that grab there. Right, that uh, that might have been uh, DI up from uh, Ned. Also, Squirtle just again being light, so gets popped a little further up. Ned trying to charge in. You don't want to give Peach too, many, too much space to pull those turnips, but it's just hard because if you're approaching against her, you're going to run into that back air. You're going to run into a wall of pain, and Razo is bringing just that. Lots of pain under the Squirtle. 66%. Like, I hate to say it, but Squirtle, it, it's not great for him to be at. Forward tilt. A little offense here from Ned. I like it. Kind of smooth right now. Hold on. We out. Another, another back air, finds the mark. That move is just so good. It's so quick, and it actually has a really good hitbox, too. Forward air, what's the follow up? Got to land on Ivysaur. Ned looking for, I don't know what. It might, might have been a miss hit for it, honestly. Yeah, I feel like he big, he big chilled on that one. He was like, I'm good, I'm good. I don't want to do anything crazy here, so. Gets away with it. Ned. Now, okay, uh, okay back to the Charizard. This has kind of been his uh, kind of his strongest Pokemon, in my opinion. I mean, outside of some of these club recoveries, he has got the stock of the Charizard, so. We out, back throw? Or up throw. Up throw, okay. Easy to react to that in the DI. Yeah. You re you you hold DI for the back throw and then you react to the up throw. Right, so. right. Here we go. Again, getting another spot dodge. That's two spot dodge reactions. razzo has got to watch those against the Charizard from Ned. And that's, uh, I think, TK, we're talking about this. Oh, God. 50? Okay. The sleep powder, the poison powder. And he got him. Got him. Oh, okay. That was quick 76. Razzo, but it's over the counter out. Just got I need some space. Help. <laughs> Help me. Like. <laughs> All right, so now, uh, I mean, Razo, yeah, I don't know what he did. He came back out and just did an up smash on the platform. Now, that yeah. must have been a missed input, but he literally took 47 just for that. I feel like this is where Razo's kind of doing best. It's like, it's, it's funny to think about, like, the plant warfare. Like, the turnips against uh, the Ivysaur, like, it's been really, really good uh, for Razo, but he's got to take the stop. Oh, my God, you see the movement to the ledge? Smooth stuff, man. I like it. I love so, it. Here we go. Like, you see him trying to get that down to Not going to find it. Again, both of them actually looking for uh, till, the running uh, uh, the running down tilt versus the running F tilt. Who gets it first? Nice. Good job calling it F tilt, by the way. Huh? A lot of commentators, man. Oh my God, the forward smash read. Nice job. Oh yeah. It's Pokemon no. trainer mains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the thing they get tied about. It's not, it's not down tilt. It's an F tilt. I mean, that down tilt is seldom ever used, uh, ever used. So I get it. Two framer. But, but yeah, I just, uh, I play, I play Pokemon trainer in brawl, so I'm just, Fair. I'm not gonna forget. Nice good job grabbing around. Oh God, that almost, that was like the ugliest hit of Vine Whip, but it almost worked. <laughs> he like was like behind the back hit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even looking. Okay. Crouch, walk away. Okay. Can't get over there in time. Honestly, that's one good thing I have to give up to Ned, too. He, he always tech rolls backwards because it takes Peach so long Slow. to get over there. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Peach got a lot going for her. Her speed is not one of them. Almost KOing right there, too. Razo, that was a great read. Look at this. Just like I was saying, the turnips against Ivysaur have been amazing. Okay, he tried it. Yeah, he's reaching Almost a little bit. Stock on there. If I'm Ned, I'm feeling good about that. Like, you just force him. Oh, yep. Another spot dodge read. That's the many this game. Razo's got to be careful with those. I get it though, because spot dodge cancel with Peach is really good. That time he just didn't do it. Yeah, just just walk up and did it. <laughs> just walk up and did it, man. Well, that was like the next level, because it's like, all right, you've been spot dodging so much. I think you're just gonna hold shield. I'm gonna run up. You're scared. Like you, you got to be scared. It's Charizard in the corner. There's no other emotion to feel. Just scared. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's I it. mean, like, at that, like, what was he gonna do? Roll in? Like, he couldn't roll in. Uh, he already got punished for that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Charizard definitely could. If you roll in, I'm, I'm gonna just turn around back throw. Or you're not going to get like a hard punish off rolling in. So, yeah, he's pretty much stuck. And if you would have jumped, yeah, I mean, that forward air is coming. So, probably off reaction. Yeah. It's just it's just such the advantage. That's the thing about Pokemon trainers. Like, there's a, a really good situation for all of them. And Charizard, when he's in the advantage, God. So help me. Pokemon trainer. Anyway, game three. This is the best of three, by the way, as you can see in the corner. So, we Razzle's Peach against Ned's Pokemon trainer. He's going to start Ivysaur, too. This time, I think he recognized the Squirtle was just having a hard time getting getting anything started. He even switched off Squirtle early in uh, in game two. He just he was just dashing around on the neutral. He's like, whatever, I can't do anything. I'm just gonna go to Ivysaur. Oh, that was a stitch right off the bat. He just threw it too. I don't think he was ready for it. I think he just. I feel like if you recognize it's a stitch, you hold on to it for a second. Okay, man. So as we get into this uh, first part of the third game, yeah, I just I want to know what Roz is gonna bring different to the table, man. Like, I, one, he definitely has to stop spot dodging as much. Yep. That is getting blown up, for sure. But I just, you know, is he going to do it? Is he going to learn in time? I mean, spot dodge, obviously, a great option in this game, especially with the, you know, on the spot dodge counter attack uh, stuff. But, it, you know, you can still get it punished. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Ned holding it down right now, center stage. He's moving, he's not too scared. He's, he's standing close enough where Razo doesn't feel safe pulling a turn up, which is great. And then he's throwing a projectile. Oh, no. So he caught him in the retreating right there, so it's a good time to pull that turn up. They've been, again, like I said, they've been so good against the Ivysaur. Okay, four throw. Razo, oh, not, over the, not able to get over there in time to punish that. However, yep, there's a turn up. Wow. Okay. Oh, Ivysaur from super deep. Yeah, I like that he stayed Ivysaur there too. Not having the force to go to Charizard at the ledge. It's really good. Spacing. He's kind of making, I feel like Razo, the adjustment here is he's making Ned swing first and then punishing him forward. You can see that back air to back air is a, a good example of that. With Ivysaur, it. it's hard to do because he has so much reach. Uh -oh. Yeah. Just like Damn. that. Okay, he just walks straight in and tries to get that F tilt. Oh, what the? He's at all tail action. This all tail action. <laughs> This is Ash's Charizard. It's pissed for whatever reason. Oh, okay, I didn't have another. Oh, he dropped it anyway. Okay. Yeah, well, well. Razo didn't like that turn up, but great job taking the lead here in a very crucial game three. Okay. He dropped the turn up too right at the end, so keep the pressure going just in case. Look at Razo. He's going. Look how he's crouching to fake like he's going to pull a turn up, and then he, he was winding up a forward air. He's just trying to bait him in. It's so nice, but Ned cashing in on a Razor Leaf and the up air. Uh oh. Squirtle time? Okay. I mean, you got to go to him at some point. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the I, idea that he didn't try to go to Squirtle that, uh, you know, at the stock that we just saw because he was at a pretty high percentage. He's like, you know what? I just got to get the KO. And now back on the Squirtle, see if he can get some of these early percent combos. 10%. I mean, it doesn't get a crazy amount on Peach because she's very floaty, but still, better than nothing. That and Peach is in the air so much. And Squirtle yeah. loves starting combos. Forward tilt, you know, a grab, anything like that. But if Peach is not on the ground, you're not getting any of those moves. So for sure. I think that's why Ned was like, all right, Squirtle, it's not your time, man. It's not your time, buddy. Yeah, it might not be Squirtle's time for this whole matchup. Like, all, all that damage yeah. pretty, pretty much happened in Squirtle there. And now, kind of put Ivysaur in a bad spot. Whoa, wait. Almost put himself in a bad spot. I don't know what that counter is about. I feel like uh, Ned was nowhere near him. Forward air. Okay, good job defending himself with a down air and then getting one on the other side of the defensive. Here comes Ned, though. Okay, good job reaching with that forward air through the Razor Leaf. Oh, yeah, the, I'm telling you, man, these Z-drops are so good. Okay, line it up. But, and there it is, just the up, oh, oh. the, wow, I'm kind of surprised that that LB actually took the stock. Well, like, like, he was lived, like, coasting for so long. Right, it just lingered. Yeah, it's all good, though. See if he can get the stock off soon. Like, yep, nice, nice call out on the jump. The up smashes have been really clutch for Razo. He's been landing them over and over. It's kind of reminds me of Ned's grabs on the on spot dodges. Oh, he's going with the Squirtle though. This is big TK. Can't can't get the grab though. Uh, I feel like that was his one chance with Squirtle. So I feel like he should just get off and go. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Might have spoke too soon. Just Ooh. a little damage here and there. A little damage here and there. Hold on. But it's okay for Squirtle to trade like that because he can always change into Charizard at some point. Right. He's got, yeah, he's got the percent lead here on the score. They pretty much started e equal uh, footing on this last stop. I'm out. Yeah. Nice swap. Amazing swap because not only was it a good defensive tool, it got him on the Ivysaur, which I think he wanted. Just the Squirtle was kind of kind of nice at that moment, so yeah. why not let him rock? Get the turn up. You see him actually trying to chase it down. I like it. Wow. Catching oh. the roll back. Oh, both of them rolling. Down right in each other's faces. Oh. Line whip, not connecting. I actually kind of surprised. Yeah. I mean, he got a gift on the second one, so on that second sock, so. Well, up, I'm telling you, these up smashes are good. Ned just jumping a little too much around Razo. Come around. Back to the Charizard. He, almost, he he called that dash check out, but he was just a little too far away. Ned so coming through with the assist. Ned's movie right? Yeah, yeah, not this time. No, no, no. You already caught me like five. Dude, that was the fastest bit. I got hit by that every day of the week. Razo, though, ready for it. Razo ready to close out this game, too, holding down center stage. What are they going to do? Back air to back air, and you did that against Charizard. Razo, you're crazy. And what a Z drop forward air. We had been talking about how good those have been the entire set. Nice job clutching that one out from Razo, catching the big hurt box of Charizard, and just cashing in with a forward air. Very nice job. What a set, man. That was yeah, amazing. I'm actually very surprised that that set went down the way it did. Like, I mean, it looked like, honestly, I think it really came down. I think felt like Ned should probably stay Ivysaur. On that yeah, last stop. But the Squirtle did fine. I don't no, think the that was, was fine. Yeah, I'm the saying, like, fine, yeah. when he swapped the Charizard. Like, yeah, the Charizard oh, okay. yeah, gets, gets the kill, whatever, right? But I just, for some reason, like, he was getting all the damage and all the big hits with his Ivysaur that last game, so. It's the thing you got to uh, know as a trainer is that yeah. eventually you're going to be, like, in a lasted situation, you're going to have to go to Charizard, basically. It's just going to have to happen at some point, so. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Well, that was set, man. That was great. Yeah, that was bro. a really good set. And I love those characters, actually. They're both, that's two good, like, top high tier characters, so. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yep, Sorry, guys. So anyway, I saw I already saw Vin stepping up to the stage. So that's what we'll have next. This is a okay. top 64 qualifier. Word. All right, it's gonna be nice. Vin. So Vin and Duang. That's what we got. So was it Thank Mario? You. Mario? Yeah. Uh, Zelda. Obviously, I'm gonna say uh, that matchup probably does not go well. 
for uh, Zelda. But then again, it's Vin, and he's, he's, a, he's a different breed. He's a god. So, yeah. One of the best Zeldas out there doing yeah, yeah. it. If, if not straight up the best. True. I, well, I feel like I'm forgetting someone, but I he's definitely up there. Can't think of any other Zelda right now. <laughs> Period. Like, no, no matter how good that <laughs> Any Zelda. Except for fire up the line. I was going to say, That's fire it. up Elite Smash. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'll find him immediately. 70% chance you'll find one. All right. 